Hello! Today I'm gonna do this illustration about a funny monkey and hope you like my drawing process. Okay, so perfect, let's start. Uh, I will go to the sketch desk and here I have all the brushes that I can use and here, up here, right, um, we'll have the, the tools that will be super important to our illustration, like all the layers or the size of the brushes or the selection tool. I will be uh, guiding you around with all these tools. So first of all, opening the layers, I'm in the bottom layer and I will start doing a simple shape, which will be a circle right here. And for filling up this circle, I will use this um, tool that will allow me to here, here, to do all the filling, as you can see. Fine. Once I have this, now uh, I will do a new drawing layer and I will put a background with this one is even faster than the um, previous tool, which will be the completely filling. Okay, now, as you can see, my circle is a bit higher, so I will select it. First, we'll go to the circle layer. I will select it and go a bit down, wherever you feel that is uh, uh, just centered. And I will click in the, in the selection you unclick the, the scissors, the tool, and we will start with the a new drawing layer and doing the sketch. For this sketch, I will use a black uh, pencil and I want to uh, use a lot of uh, the tools that Drawing Desk is giving us. First, we have a ruler to make it just Sim more simple to make straight lines like this. Perfect. Okay, enough for the ruler. Then I want here at the bottom, you have many, many different um, simple shapes. I will start just doing the head. Let's see. It's it's fine if you don't have now uh, the correct um, the shapes correctly placed because later on we will be moving them around. Okay, so um, here the head. I will do here a bit the belly like this. What else? I want to change the shape into a more rounded shape to place all my elements. So here I will have one hand here, yeah, one hand here, then here I want an ear, maybe a little bit. As you can see, you can zoom in, zoom out in the artwork to just go placing everything around, like here, eyes, what else? I want one hand here. For me, it's simple to just do simple shapes and then um, start building on from there. For example, now I want to um, move a bit the head. So I go to the selection tool. I select this part and I move it. I want it to be here, yes. And the ear, so I click, the ear I want it to be more up here. Fine. It's fine. Later on we will do all the elements. Let's see what else. We are still here. If you want to undo any anything that you don't like, you just click with two fingers in the screen and you will be undoing it. Ok, 
Okay, I will stop with the shapes and I will start just doing the sketching more freely. like it. Maybe I will place it a little higher with the selection tool like here to have everything more proportionate. Perfect. Love it. So let's start. I will lower the opacity of my first rough sketch. Sorry. Here. This was high. And then I will put the uh, basic colors. Here I design, Here you have all the colors and you have like three windows that you can play around. This is the, um, the basic uh, color wheel and you can choose the color and play with the light and shadows. Here uh, you have the hue, the values, the contrast, the saturation. And here uh, drawing desk, gives you some uh, default palettes that you can use. I love these colors actually, but I did mine here. You can design your own color palette. I did this and set it as this as default to just have it here. And I will start using this, um, this palette. How? Again, you using this easy easy tool to fill in as i showed before it's very simple and it allows us to go with a neat illustration super easy if you don't want to fill everything you can take this brush here and just do a part of the like this and then just fill in as I showed you before you remember this tool here is just for filling in what oh, sorry it's fine sometimes you just fill everything you have to close the the region that you want to fill in you have to really close it fine like this Okay, so let's go to the hands and the belly. Another drawing layer that I will put on top of this uh, brownish uh, color. And I will use another color like this. And yeah, I will use again the shapes to make it simple for me. I will go like this, but now I will erase, sorry, I close the shapes, I will erase this part. If you find like the eraser is too big, you can put the size lower, like this. Look, now you can uh, erase the details that you don't like. Perfect. Then, go and be here. Then the ears, I will use, hmm, no, I will create a new layer to go down brown, the brownish um, layer. It will be easier to draw the hands and the, and the ears, just here. Okay, 
so I can fill in with this. Okay, and I will do also this shape here by using the brush. Nice. Hmm, I like it. I will do a new layer. I will play more with layers now because I want to every element to be in a different layer. I will now do the inner part of the eye like this. Yeah, using again this filling like this. And it's getting really nice, right? Yeah. I like it. Mm. If you don't like any ele oh, some elements, so you can select and just play a bit with them like this. Better now. Okay. In this layer, I will also do. You can pick a color that is already in your artwork by uh, pressing the screen and drag into the color that you want to take using the pencil because it's lighter i will do the nose details the mouth no the mouth i will do a new layer on the bottom of this line because if not i will just go through the line and i don't want to let's do this a smile like this. And inside the smile, I want to do the tongue. But what, how can I do this? I press lock alpha here. And now you will only be able to paint in the part that is already painted. So here. As you can see, I cannot paint anything else, but I can paint this part here. Hmm, that's nice. What else? And on top of the inner part of the eye, I will do like a reflection with this, like this. I'm liking it a lot. Finally, I will do another drawing layer and I will do this branch here. Mm. Here, let's see. Using again the rudder, like this, and using a darker brownish. See this one, like this. Oh, sorry. Yes. And yes. Perfect. And now I will close this part here Oops. and then fill this in and erase the parts that I don't like. I will make it bigger in size to make it easier to, for me. Sorry. Oh, ah, here. Like this. Perfect. Yes, I like it. Hmm. And now like this, I will put the fingers. I will finish the shapes by making the tree a bit more like um, not clean. Perfect. Now, what I want to do is put highlights and shadows. How I can do this? Just using the tool that I showed you before, the this log alpha. I press log alpha, for example, in this part right here, and I put um, a lighter 
part and I use this, this tool here that is called a spray. Okay, if you can see the spray, I'm in the correct layer. Okay, ah yeah, because this year it was in another layer, sorry. Sorry, yeah, as you can see, it's lighter this part. Yeah. Can make lighter. Also in the hands and the ears. But yeah, I just um, hidden the layer using this this eye here. Log alpha again. And you can see how I'm doing the slides. And now I will do the shadows. Just going a little bit darker here. Let's see. I'm in the upper bit layer. No, here. Let's see how it goes. I'm liking it a lot. Now going again to the hands. Yes. Now, this step is a bit tricky because you have to hidden this your sketch. Now you have to check, oh, I like it, I don't like it, I like it a lot. And I will put the final uh, lines just to make it appropriate for the final drawing, okay? As you can see, when you work with the sketch, sometimes the lines seem a bit darker and you cannot see where your drawing is going like this perfect so you have to do this final touch whoops here as you may remember i will use our biggest brand the shapes mm. like this mm. yeah this and we will erase this part that is out of the shape here and here that's important. I'm not in the current ship. To check which is the layer, you can just uh, hide or open the layer and see if you have right uh, the part that you want to to touch. Hmm, I'm liking it a lot. Just a final thing that I normally do is adding some lights but um yellowish lights again the alpha lock i will take this yellowish light use the spray and sorry here you will see that it will give a colorful like this perfect so that's it and well no final touch <laughs> I will do a eyebrows here. That's it. Hope you like it. <laughs>